Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Uh, we are seeing a seasonal change, and that brings on SAD, and I'm happy to have Dr. Frederick with us from Evolve. And uh, Dr., I've been saying SAD, and everybody needs to understand what SAD means. So before we start, let's explain SAD. Okay, so SAD is Seasonal Affective Disorder, and um, it usually takes place, so it can't, it, it takes place with the changes in seasons, and so it has the ability to take place at any time of year, but most commonly, it starts in the fall and goes through the winter, and what it is, is just as, as the term explains, seasonal affective disorder, so it is a change in your affect um, due to the changes in the seasons. So, and, and it's very interesting <laughs> that um, my daughter, who went to school in Seattle, actually saw this a lot longer than someone in Arizona might have seen, and it still affects them because it's about the sunlight, it's about how you're doing things, and so you have a great way of making sure we maneuver through it, and, and, and let's just be honest, it happens to everybody, and you might not realize it because those days you feel a little down is a sad day, but you might not have it as strong as someone else. Yeah, so what is going on, and you explained it perfectly, that it is a shift in the sunlight, and so that's why it is most commonly happening in the fall through the winter, because when that shift happens and there's less exposure to the sun, that impacts serotonin levels, your vitamin D, it increases melatonin production, and so creates this feeling of sluggishness, uh, lack of energy, changes in appetite, and that really what somebody would experience with depressive symptoms with a depressive disorder is what takes place um, for these individuals experiencing SAD. They, I mean, it's true depressive symptoms that kick in during that time. Yeah, and, and that's where you all come in for counseling. And how do you help people through this? Yeah, so there are um, a few different approaches for treating um, SAD. And uh, it would be psychotherapy. So cognitive behavioral therapy is one approach that's really effective. Um, sometimes people need to seek medication to use through this time and an antidepressant to help just get through the season. And that's OK. There's other forms. There's light therapy. Um, what I really suggest is seeking the help, the psychotherapy with the cognitive behavioral therapy, but then also increasing your sun exposure, get in the sunlight, do some exercising, um, really get your body moving. And, 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 you know, if you have a work day where you're in the office from nine to five, then try during your lunch or whatever you're able to do, just get some sun on your body. I like that. And I know, actually, uh, I've heard of going to the tanning salon. Some people say no, but that's helped a little bit here and there, especially for those who work in their office all day. And it comes out and it's kind of like almost evening time as we have the season change. Is that something that you might recommend a little bit? Just, I'm not saying we do it all the time, but getting that kind of little sunlight in you? Um, well, or even seeking, they, they do sell light therapy um, an actual light therapy product. And so it is, it's a, you know, increased exposure to light um, that you do, but you do have to do it for, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour a day. So that is an option to use that type of artificial light. Otherwise, you know, doing your best to uh, get out at lunchtime or take a few minute break during the day. Oh, okay, we're talking about how we see it in, in ourselves. How could I recognize it in a friend? Is there any little tips that you can give me if I do see a family member or somebody who is starting to bring this on a little bit? Sure, if you see a shift in, in mood states, because really what um, is most commonly seen is an increase in moodiness and sluggishness. And so if you see somebody's energy levels changing, you see their mood states changing, maybe they're more irritable, more emotional. Um, and also the very um, typical depressive symptoms as well, uh, loss of interest in previously enjoyed activities, changes in appetite, sleep, all of those things. So yeah, if you're noticing that in your child, in your partner, in a friend, um, that would be something to maybe point out to them. Yeah, and I, I think right now, uh, and I'm gonna hopefully say you're with me on this one, but with the online learning, when those kids get a break, take them off the computer, let them go outside for that five minute break and come back in, because that's really where we're gonna see it, right? With them not leaving that room. You're absolutely right. And with the increase that we've seen already in anxiety and depression in our kids, with the seasonal affective disorder kicking in as well, get your kids outside, get them fresh air, get them sunlight, get their bodies moving. Perfect. Dr. Frederick, how can we find out more about SAD and how to take care of it? Uh, we can be found at EvolveCounselingAZ.com. You can also find us on um, our podcast or YouTube, Evolve Counseling and Behavioral Health Services. Perfect. Thank you, Dr. Frederick.
Thank you.